We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Glory to God. The truth is that either you want to wrestle or you don't want to wrestle, there is a fight already. There is a wrestling already. Considering how important the prayer altar is to the life of a Christian, I will be sharing with you five reasons why you need to build an altar of prayer. I recommend you watch to the end as I'll be sharing with you one more important truth. God bless you. The veins are evil. As a Christian, now more than ever, you need to build a prayer altar if you don't have one already. You need to build a prayer altar. If you have one already, you need to what? bring it back to life. You need to continue. Glory to God. Ephesians 5, 16 to 18. It says of how we should what? redeem the time for the days are evil. Glory to God. Let me quick do a quick reading here. Ephesians 5, 16 says that redeem the time because the days are evil 17 says that wherefore be ye not unwise that means don't be unwise don't be foolish the opposite of wisdom is foolishness be not ye unwise but understanding what the will of the lord is glory to god one way of understanding what the will of the lord is is on the altar of prayer because it gives you clarity like i said earlier in the order of my video is that prayer is a communication between you and god so if you must understand what the will of the lord is you need to engage communication you need to engage the altar of prayer where you get clarity glory to god understanding the times because the days are evil verse 18 the last not the least verse said here that and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit. Glory to God. You see why you need to engage the altar of prayer. Glory to God. If you can speak in, in tongues, engage the mystery of, of the Holy Spirit by speaking in tongues. Engage the mystery of the Holy Spirit by speaking in tongues. The days are evil. Engage the prayer altar because what well, the days are evil. Glory to God. Not to make us afraid, but the truth is that perilous time shall come. I know I said earlier in the first point that the days are evil. Now the second point is that perilous times are coming. Glory to God. What we are saying now, it's not even enough. Now look at what the scripture says. In 2 Timothy 3 verse 1 to 5, it said that perilous time shall come. Glory to God. He said, 2 Timothy 3 verse 1 said, This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. So why do we need to build a prayer altar? Because perilous times are coming. Prayer altar is a place where you used to maintain intimacy, fellowship, communication, communion with God, with the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. So you need to what? Energize yourself more because perilous times shall come. You, if, when, you keep, when you keep on appearing before the presence of God, glory to God, you keep on being more like God. Hallelujah. The scripture said that as it is, so are we. Our glory to God. He said they are changed into the same image from glory to glory. Hallelujah. So you need to keep on engaging the prayer altar, communicating with God, communing with God so you will be able to stand in these last days. Hallelujah. I see you standing. I see you standing firm. You will not fall. You will not fail. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The third reason why we need to build a prayer altar is because what we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Glory to God. The truth is that either you want to wrestle or you don't want to wrestle, there is a fight already. There is a wrestling already. The scripture is just trying to admonish us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Ephesians 6, 12. Let's see what the scripture says that it said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Glory to God. So if you already have a prayer altar, this is the more reason why you should continue on the prayer altar because the the weapons of our warfare are not kana. We don't go to the weapons of we don't go to fight spiritual war with access with bow and arrow. No, but spiritual, spiritual capacity. You bring spiritual power on the altar of prayer. This is one more reason you need to continue on the altar of prayer. And you need to build an altar of prayer if you've not yet gotten one. My brothers and my sisters, it is very important more now more than ever. Hallelujah.
The fourth reason why we need to build an altar of prayer or a prayer altar is because the scripture admonishes us to what? Watch and pray. Glory to God. One of the ways we watch and pray is by praying. Hallelujah. You watch by watching and you pray by praying. Glory to God. Now let's look at what Matthew 26, 41 says. A very quick one. It says, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. <laughs> In these last days, temptations are going to come. Glory to God. But you need to not just watch. Why are you watching to be on guard? You need to pray to build your own spiritual momentum, spiritual capacity, your own spiritual power. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. It went further to say that the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. So when you pray, glory to God, your, your, your spirit man overcomes and overpowers your flesh. Glory to God. And every temptation that comes away is a victory already i see us getting victories even as temptation comes our way in the name of the lord jesus christ amen number five reason why you need to build a prayer altar is because you need to receive glory to god the prayer altar is where you where you communicate to meet and therefore receive feedback from god matthew 7 7 says Ask and it shall be given unto you. Let's take a very quick look at what it says from the scripture here. Matthew, verse 7, Matthew 7, 7, it says, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. That is why you need to build a prayer altar. To receive. To get doors open. To find when you seek. I see the Lord giving us more understanding in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Now to the important point I promised I will be sharing with you at the end of this video is this intimacy. Glory to God. When you build a prayer altar, why you need to build a prayer altar is because you need to maintain intimacy, a close knitted relationship, communion, fellowship with God. Remember Abraham. God said, how can I do this and not tell my friend Abraham? Glory to God. In Genesis chapter 18 verse 17, God had to tell Abraham what he was about to do because they were that close. You can be that close with God. And this you build in place of relationship. And one of the ways you can maintain relationship with God is on the altar of prayer. Glory to God. I said the Lord giving understanding. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless you. If you haven't blessed by this video, please click the like button on your screen. It will help others find it. I recommend you watch the next video on your screen. YouTube is recommended for you. Remain blessed and see you in my next video.